Good morning, Warrior fans. Good morning, Placer Valley. Good morning, everyone. Excited about what is going to be happening on the campus of William Jessup University. Today is a very special day. Today is a day that we get to announce something absolutely special for our community, for our student athletes, for 500 plus young men and women that play soccer, and for our community as a whole. I'd like to take a moment right now to introduce two gentlemen to my right, Dr. John Jackson, the president of William Jessup University, and Mr. Dominic DeRosa from the Blues Soccer Organization. Dr. Jackson. Thank you, Brandon, and thank you, everybody, tuning in. It's just so great to be part of this experience today. You'll hear a few more details from me in a moment, but before we go any further, I have to call out somebody who is not at this table, but who has been at the table from the beginning. Uh, the truth is, is that this has been about an 18-month journey. This 18-month journey, I was commenting earlier, is like uh, two pregnancies, uh, and we are giving birth today to something unbelievable. But a person who was there at the beginning, the middle, and the end is our athletic director, Coach Lance Von Vogt. Lance has been an absolutely key part of this. Coach V was not able to be at this conference, but I want to pay tribute to him at the very beginning. We're so grateful. Uh, and in just a few moments, I'll share some more comments. But I want to turn it back to Brandon so that we can introduce Dominic properly and then just hear about Blues FC and what an amazing partnership this will be. Dr. J, thank you very, very much. Yes, again, right here to my right is Mr. Dominic DeRosa from the Blues Soccer Organization, Blues FC. And I would like Dominic to, you know, welcome and uh, give us a little update on the history of your club and also about building this unbelievable partnership with Jessup Athletics and our community as a whole. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just a little bit about the Blues FC. So we were founded in 2009. We actually started as two separate clubs. Greg Thompson, who had started the Blues, and myself, who started uh, PAFC and we came together around 2012 and you know both of us had something in common which was to create a, a soccer club that would offer something different to the players in the local community something that focused on values of sportsmanship integrity and accountability and to be able to start by developing the person before we develop the player and to develop just really good people and our, our path of developing good soccer players and over the course, we've been able to grow to approximately 500 players and become one of the premier soccer clubs in the region. But uh, today represents a huge, huge rebirth for us as an organization because this really does transform us. When you, we look forward, I mean, this opportunity, I mean, the, the soccer aspects of this is obvious, right? We get four, field, we get four practice fields, we get to an all-weather turf, it's going to be world-class, but more important than that is what it means to how we develop our players. We get players who come into our club when they're five years old, and they stay with us till they're 18 years old, and we're trying to develop people and to be able to partnership with an organization such as William Jessup, and when you read their community covenant about what it means to be part of this organization and this environment, to be able to bring our kids here for 13, 14 years to be in a place where they share the same values about how we treat each other and how we put other people first, and then to see that in action amongst adults and young adults, I think is gonna allow us to develop people that are just better than we would able, be able to do in, on our own, just to be able to have that example for them. So I'm really looking forward to what this can do for not just developing soccer players, but for developing people who can really give back to society once they graduate and they grow and as they get older. Boy, I love so much of what you said, Dominic, and for you and Greg to share that vision early on is just powerful. In fact, I want to just maybe focus on one word, and that is the word generations. In 2004, William Jessup University, located here, previously San Jose Christian College, and before that, San Jose Bible College, located here in the Rockland community in 2004, and took what was a Herman Miller Furniture Factory and turned it into a Christ-centered institute of higher education, fully accredited by WASC, and now we've received not only regional but national notification of uh, excellence that uh, God is working here. Our partnership with you represents another in a line of what I would call generational moments. 
Uh, we built the facilities here, transforming the Herman Miller Furniture Factory. Uh, most recently, added dining facilities, a gymnasium uh, back in 2012, and then added a dorm in 2016. This uh, soccer field represents another generational moment. When you said 500 students, I immediately thought of not only that potential 13-year history, but I thought about the families that are impacted. I thought about people coming out to a community gathering. And I'll tell you, our heart here at Jessup is to partner with the local community. I think what's happening here today in the representation of this agreement is actually a generational moment. So Dominic, I want to thank you and Blues, uh, uh, Blues FC to be able to um, partner in this. I want to thank you for the opportunity uh, to be able to be together. And I want to just say this uh, to the entire community. When something happens like this at a place, it's easy to think about it being isolated. This is not about Jessup. And this is not even ultimately about Jessup or the Blues. This is about each individual life that will be impacted. And that's an impact for our region, an impact for our state, and an impact for our nation. So this is a generational moment. I want to thank you for your partnership. And we are honored to work with you. And we believe this is an amazing, amazing step forward. Well, at this time, Dominic and I will have the opportunity to sign um, a 15-year agreement between the Blues FC and William Jessup University and William Jessup University Athletics. Again, Dr. J, this is about as big of anything as we've had since the original construction on this campus, and we couldn't feel more excited and blessed to be able to share this not only with our campus community, but with the campus at large and with all of the people in the greater Sacramento region. So, Dominic, if you would go ahead and take the pen and sign, I will do the same. And with that, wow. all right, let's clap. Dr. Jackson, Dominic, on behalf of William Jessup University Athletics, on behalf of our future, and on behalf of two organizations absolutely getting it done during a very difficult time, thank you very, very much. At this time, everybody, I'd like to introduce Do uh, Greg Lazaga, our head men's soccer coach at William Jessup University. Um, want to give him the opportunity to speak um, about what this does for men's soccer at William Jessup, what this does for the community as a whole, and how he sees this looking into our future. Coach? Awesome. I am, I am just overjoyed um, with this. The word keeps coming up, opportunity. Um, it is definitely that. It is a great opportunity um, and, and the idea that Dr. J was just talking about how this is kind of a birth into so many new things, both with the blues and with Jessup is right on. I, I don't, I'm not a big person on notes, but I've got a couple of bullets on my, on my um, little sticky thing here. And, and one of my top things is that this is really an opportunity for what I call new life. Um, that's really how I look at it. This morning at 2 a.m., two very close people to me um, that I look at as like kids of my own um, celebrated the birth of their child. Um, and in the, in the world that we live in today, um, new life is just tremendously exciting. And so I look at um, this new partnership, this new field as that same opportunity for new life. I am so excited for um, all the athletes, all the students on campus, um, all the people that the Blues are, are going to bless, the camps that we host here um, to hundreds of kids. There's so many people that are gonna get blessed by this opportunity. Um, it's really also um, a testament and an honor to all those that we've had work hard here in the past, all the Jessup athletes that have put in so much. I was talking to an alumni last night um, who, I, who I really hold in high esteem for how hard he worked um, to make his experience here happen, um, how much he grew, not only on the field, but as the topic has been already mentioned, um, just in life, um, on being a good person, on being um, a devoted follower, um, on being a great um, transformational player on the field and off the field and in the community that he's in now. Um, it's just a, such an honor to, to all the athletes that have been here before. I also look at that as new life is 
Um, it, it's such an opportunity. It's exciting to grow um, and all the things that have for the future. It's a license really for all the current athletes that we have now um, to be great, um, to be great at their craft, um, to know that every moment that they step on that field, um, there's something to work hard for. We ask of them always to work hard in the moment. Um, and why not work hard on, on a top flight facility like this? Um, so, so excited um, about the partnership as well. We, we took into account a, a lot of ideas um, at the beginnings of this. So um, the idea that we could um, partner with a club like the Blues, who is so well known, um, not only in our area, but um, um, around California for just producing um, um, not just top, qui top quality athletes, um, but top quality people. Um, so really excited about that partnership. Really excited um, um, for all of our guys coming to step foot on that field. Um, all the campers, again, they get to be here. Um, really want us to have that desire of being Calebites, people that are really wholeheartedly working at our craft. Um, and that field is that, that opportunity. That surface is that opportunity to, to just kind of progress and grow forward. So really looking forward for the blessing um, to be able to train hard. Um, really looking for the, the blessing for all the fans that get to come and watch and be a part of, of all the transformational stuff that's happening here at Jessup. Um, Jessup's really good at a lot of things um, in academics and man, why not be top flight and everything? So um, just overjoyed um, at this moment in this partnership. At this time, we will go ahead and answer any questions from the media. Yeah, our first question, uh, this could be for any of you. Can you speak a little bit on the time frame of when construction is set to begin and uh, when you expect this to be completed? Of course, all this is weather permitting, but the expectations is we will be able to start breaking ground in March and hopefully complete it within that month of March or early April. So it's available in the spring for the start of the soccer season and for us at the same time. Uh, for, for Brandon, can you speak on what, this, what a partnership such as this does for not only just athletics, um, but for the university in terms of growing even further? Yeah, no problem, Matt. Um, a partnership like this is so community focused that you win at an exponentially high level. Jessup is continually growing. We have an athletic department that seeks to have over 300 student athletes next fall when we come onto campus. We have soccer programs that are continuing to grow and go in the right direction. And from a community standpoint, when you happen to have those things already working and you are able to, over 18 months, do something this special, um, it has an impact that Really, we don't know what the ceiling is, to be perfectly honest. The, the growth capacity and the fact to have five, that we're going to not only be able to service our student athletes at an extremely high level, but be able to bless many, many kids within the community that are working on their craft every single day, and we're able to bring them to this beautiful 30-plus acre campus and allow them to see and witness what William Jessup is all about is going to grow this partnership to heights I'm not even sure what they look like. What we do know is that when you partner with like-minded individuals and you work with people that are on the same page as you, the opportunities are endless. So it's really actually hard to talk about, you know, the basic level of what this is what we know it's going to impact right away is there's going to be 500 plus players from the blues thousands of families that are driving onto university avenue pulling in the parking lots and practicing at william jessup university we know that that means that the blues are going to feel really really good about where they're pulling in the parking lot every night and we know that we're going to feel really really good about the people that are pulling into the parking lot every single night and that is that showcases exponential impact on your community. I think the last piece of that, if you were to ask me, um, is the fact that we are a growing regional university. 
And in a time where we are struggling with COVID, I think a lot of credit needs to go out to the athletic administration team here, the university administration team, our board, the blues board, everyone that saw this as an opportunity amongst a very difficult time, that's awesome. And that shows you that we have a lot of people, very important people, on the same page, rowing the boat in the same direction. This is the beginning of Jessup Athletics and the beginning of Jessup Soccer. I say we're beginning all the time, and this again proves that we're just beginning to continue to grow. We hope to take this into a new athletic wellness facility. We look to grow athletics at an extremely high level, and when you start partnering with the right people, opportunities are endless. All right, and just a quick follow-up on that. Um, can you speak a little bit on what opportunities this allows, not just for our soccer athletes, but for athletes of other sports as well? When you, when you put a 180 yard by 80 yard facility together and you think that you can go ahead and have four practices going on at one time or you can have one competition field and then a horizontal practice going on at the same time that uh, gives so many opportunities to uh, let's just talk about potential throwing events for track and field let's think about what that means for our baseball team and our softball team let's not to mention the blues but, Matt, really what it ends up doing is this facility also allows us to give back to our institution and our community. We're able to take that beautiful green space that we have on campus and give that back to Dr. Jackson and the university at large to go ahead and have that green space that the young students on our campus deserve. And an opportunity for the university to see our growth and our potential and the fact that we're able to do something with an external group, not only is this going to impact our kids on our teams that aren't on the soccer program, a good place to run, a good place for throwing pro uh, initiatives, any of those things, it's also blessing all of the student athletes that are in the dorms and are in the apartments that want a place to go out, throw a frisbee, hang out with friends, read a book, have a spiritual formation group. There are all sorts of things that are going to be high level impact by simply having this space on campus. Great, and you mentioned community, so I'd like to take that point and uh, throw this over to Dominic. Um, can you speak on what this facility could do for the Placer County region as a whole, uh, with soccer being such a, a rising sport in the area? Um, what, what further plans could this do for Placer County soccer, and, uh, and what do you see impact making on the community as a whole? Well, our club, we bring in players from all across the state for the competition. So we're going to be able to house not just all our 500 players to be able to come here, practice, be part of the environment, and also give them a playing surface that they can work on that is higher quality than they've ever played on before. But we're going to be able to bring in, you know, people from across the state to, who, that compete against us to also experience the environment, experience the university, and, you know, just raise the stature of our club, you know. So it's, it just allows us to just, you know, grow beyond what we have been able to do before. And I also I'll go back to partnering with an organization such as William Jessup to where, you know, we've always been a club about values. And the more we can do to solidify the values, the more we can, you know, bring in people that they come in on day one knowing this is the right place for them. It's a good place where they fit. And it's a place that they can grow with. And I think that has a, this a huge impact. And remember, every one of these kids, they bring in two parents, they bring in a couple of grandparents, they bring in their brothers, they bring in their sisters. So it's not 500 people experiencing university. It's more like 2,500 people experience university, plus the people we play against. And so everything about it is just a huge win, and it allows us to take a next step in the development as a club and also to really just raise soccer in the, in the environment, local area. And, you know, Greg Thompson, who's sitting here today, that has been his goal from day one is to elevate soccer to quality of play and just, just the sport across Placer County. And I think this allows him to be able to deliver on a vision he's had since 2009. Great. And kind of the same 
a little bit over to you, Coach Lazaga. Can you speak a little about what not only having this field, but a partnership with an organization such as Blues can do for recruiting? Yeah, so, uh, so just stepping onto Jessup campus some five, six years ago when I was uh, working at another institution and come over here, just the overwhelming um, um, dream vision of everything that could happen here. Um, and uh, at the time, all the athletes that were on that field that I got to witness um, um, play were um, not only fantastic, uh, you know, on the field, but just um, as people. Um, so um, tried to carry on that vision in terms of recruiting. Um, so it's, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity again um, not only in this partnership with Blues, but just to be able to, to bring um, top, top class athletes on campus to see the top class field that's going to be here, um, a, another top class club that will be here. All those things are, are more um, than wonderful opportunities um, on the recruiting side. It'll, it's one of those things that'll just, it, it's gonna steamroll, right? It's gonna multiply itself because um, the, the athletes that we have here already are gonna be excited about it and they've got all their friends um, to, kinda, to kinda post the news to. Um, and then just um, the excitement level of, of being able to walk the field with all the recruits, um, it, it's, it's a great honor and a great blessing. Great, and then our final question would be for either Coach Lazaga or Brandon. Um, are there any discussions or plans as to when you could start hosting GSAC level events such as conference championships? Well, Matt, I think first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to get that field in, right? We want the weather to cooperate. We want to get the field in. We want it to look beautiful. We want to be able to showcase that much like we, you know, I, as we're mentioning this, it, you can talk about McBean, really. After that gets in and things are smooth and we've got the ground running, and the teams that are coming into playing are seeing that field and seeing the level of you know, the student athlete experience that we provide, um, then I think we go right away and say, there's no reason not to showcase the beautiful Placer Valley to the Golden State Athletic Conference and from a national level. Um, we all know that the teams that come here and have an opportunity to compete, um, enjoy our community, enjoy what we have to offer and see the intentionality of how much we care about what we're doing. So when it comes to the GSAC, when it comes to bringing in teams, I can guarantee that both Coach Nolan, who I haven't mentioned yet, our, our new head women's soccer coach, who's unbelievably uh, excited for this opportunity, uh, and Coach Greg, it's going to be a lot. Uh, it's going to be a lot different when you're talking about uh, bringing in an outside competition for a for a non-conference game or uh, welcoming new people to campus. So when we start talking about um, national, national tournaments and regional tournaments, I would say again, with this, the opportunities are really endless. I just piggyback on everything Brandon said. Um, the recognition that it, it provides, I think, in the immediate term um, will be to, to all the teams that get to come. And then I think definitely the grand scheme is to continue to build this thing as far as we can take. And if that is um, national exposure, then I'm, then I'm all about that. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, for wherever you're tuning in with us today, we want to thank you for taking some time out of your morning to, to be a part of this momentous occasion. Um, a couple of people we want to send thank yous to, which were not able to be here today, of course. Our athletic director, uh, Mr. Lance Von Vogt, who was an integral part in this. I know he's incredibly excited, so wherever you're watching, you know, thank you for all the work you did on this, as well as to David Nolan, our new women's soccer coach. I know the excitement levels that he has to, to field a team on this field is, is pretty great. Um, but for what this does for the university, I know all of us in athletics are incredibly excited for our student body, what this does for the university. It, it's going to be a, a game changer to our campus. But for, from all of us here at William Jefferson University to our, our new friends and partners at Blues FC, we want to thank you for taking some time out of your day. And uh, I think the last thing to say is just we all can't wait to see the first game on this field. And um, we, hope, we hope you're going to be able to join us for that one. So from all of us here, thank you. We hope you have a, a wonderful day, a, a great holiday season, a Merry Christmas to you all. And, um, and have a good day. Thank you.